Julia Stiles blew everyone away with the emotion she built to deliver that performance. And when many found out that there was no off-screen romance between her and Heath Ledger, it turned out to be even more impressive. Well, maybe you're not afraid of me, but I'm sure you've thought about me naked, huh? Am I that transparent? I want you. I need you. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. But what if everyone was thinking about the wrong co-star? When her real life interest and the person she thought about in that entire scene was right under our noses. Rumor has it, and by that we mean the director, that Styles and Joseph Gordon-Levitt were crazy about each other while filming the iconic cult classic, 10 Things I Hate About You. It's no surprise that most stars fall for each other on set. However, it's usually the couple that spends most of the time together and happens to be across one another. But in Julia's case, it was the actor who she spent the least time with on set that captured her young heart. While Joseph's character was busy chasing after Julia's character's little sister, and it seemed that Kat was too busy falling for Ledger's character, the exact opposite was happening off screen. She's like professing her love to Heath, and she's in love with the guy who's waiting in his trailer to shoot the next scene the film's director shared. Yeah, but watching them, it was beautiful how much they enjoyed each other. Although the actor played a younger role, both actors were 18 when the set became the place they looked forward to being at the most. Who now wants to watch the movie all over again to see if any sparks were flying in the air that the viewers missed? Well, there is one unforgettable scene where the passion was undeniable. Although the two never shared that scene, or any other scene for that matter, young Julia could not stop thinking about Joseph. When Styles gave the memorable and grippingly emotional performance, she had Joseph in her heart the entire time. I hate it when you're not around and the fact that you didn't call. But mostly I hate the way I don't hate you. Not even close. Not even a little bit. Not even at all. The film's director recently spoke on the secret romance between the couple and how it made the end poetry scene so special. It just killed me. It was so raw and it was so honest and it was so vulnerable. I even asked her, he shared, I said, where did that come from? And she told me, I was just thinking about that person's name that she was deeply in love with at the time. Although there has been speculation of Styles and Ledger having an off-screen romance, the director put those lifelong rumors to bed, adding that the person the Dexter actress was thinking of, quote, wasn't me, certainly, but it wasn't Heath either. This fleeting romance is most likely one that none of the film's fans saw coming. Both stars are yet to comment on the film director's interview and the details he revealed. However, with the two happily married, Styles having welcomed a baby boy, and Gordon Levitt being a doting father of two, we doubt they care about their short-lived teenage love. The experience is actually what I, what I love the most about that whole thing, even if people didn't like the movie. We had such a good time, all of us, hung out all the time. In a Rolling Stones interview back in 2000, the Hustlers actress cleared up where they stood after the interviewer referred to Gordon Levitt as her old boyfriend. We're friends. We say hello to each other. But an unexpected romance is not the only thing the actress took away from her role in the film. Kat Stratford, her character in 10 Things I Hate About You, was considered a strong, opinionated girl who gave up popularity for a more meaningful life. And the scene can be said for the actress and her career. Katarina, make anyone cry today? Sadly, no. But it's only 4.30. After starring as Kat, the actress became very meticulous about the types of roles she played. After another beloved classic, Save the Last Dance, a movie she said she could not rewatch because her performance was cringeworthy, Styles took on several strong female leads in movies like The Mona Lisa Smile and The Prince and Me, which were sadly considered film flops. Her film career began to spiral down, and she realized that she was no longer the popular girl in Hollywood and seemed to be okay with that. I think audiences, producers and directors included, develop crushes on actors, actresses in particular and then lose interest and move on to the next one, the star shared. Realizing that she may have reached a dead end in her acting career, Julia decided to step out of the spotlight and focus on a life behind the scenes. Styles put down her acting gloves and picked up filmmaking ones. She worked on almost anything, from editing music videos to directing short films. However, this went unnoticed in Hollywood and just seemed more like work she took on to keep her busy while fighting to find her spot on her screens again. If she could be like some of her musician friends and try to pursue acting on the side of the road, she would. But like she said, I can't go on a street corner and start reciting a monologue. Acting is very collaborative and you always need other people with you. Although the actress grew up with a negative view of acting on TV, 
That all changed when Styles was offered a role in season five of the Showtime series Dexter. The actress had always feared going into the cable drama business, afraid to commit to something that she would end up regretting. According to the star, her experience changed her thoughts about the small screen forever. Styles received a character arc that allowed her to show a range of emotions and a pleasantly surprising performance that reminded many why she is a favorite. Though her character is introduced as being full of doubt and not trusting Dexter, the two later form a bond that is exceptional to watch, and she later becomes one of the few people who know the killing machine's true colors. Her portrayal of the character paved her way to an Emmy, Golden Globe, and Screen Actors Guild nomination. Had it not been for her experience in the chilling thriller, the actress would not have jumped into filming her debut lead television role in Riviera. From romantic comedies to thrilling dramas, Styles has shown that she can do it all, and lucky for her, she has a loyal fan base that is always rooting for her to succeed. But if anyone was still holding on to hope for a 10 Things I Hate About You sequel, they might not want to hold their breath. Although the actress is not against the idea, she's just not sure it would make sense. When I think that 10 Things I Hate About You is 21 years old, it makes me feel grown up. What would a reunion sequel involve? I don't even understand how that would work. Could there even be a prequel without Heath Ledger's dazzling and dreamy bad boy? Believe it or not, most of what the actress knows about acting, she learned from the late legend himself. At long last love has arrived And I thank God I'm alive You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off of you Julia fell in love with the drama at a young age, after often attending the theater with her parents. Her ambitious and hardworking spirit was also cultivated in her youth, from working in her parents' shop. Her love for Shakespeare and theater led the young talent to debut in her first play at just 11 years old. And after a series of teen films that were not so notable, Styles landed her breakout role as Cat. Aside from Ledger, Styles brought a memorable performance, and apparently, bits of it was all thanks to the award-winning Australian actor. Remember that famous scene where Cat gets wholly drunk and gives the school a table dance? It turns out she learned how to act intoxicated from her co-stars. And it seems the acting classes were very useful, because we sure believe that she could barely stand up straight. Although Ledger was young and had little experience in the industry, he did not let that stop him from sharing tricks of the trade that helped him. And those techniques later helped Styles in her more serious projects. Even though Julia went from playing the girlfriend role in many films to now receiving offers to play the mother role, she's not at all worried about her career as she ages. Like the celebrated Meryl Streep, Julia intends to brace her age, and it seems the actress has been doing some internal growth too. Channeling her inner Cat Stratford, Styles recalled how she had not been faithful to herself in past years. I wish I'd been more careful about some of the things I said, the actress regretfully shared. I learned through trial and error what it means to be quoted. I wouldn't have said things for effect and for popularity over things that I actually thought. Well, she seems to have learned from her mistakes, and her most iconic role ever is still teaching adults and children lessons to this day. It's been over two decades since the film's release in March of 1999, and it's proven to be a much-loved fan favorite still. Aside from the perfect cast, trendy clothes, and head-banging soundtrack, this teen movie told a coming-of-age story in a refreshing way. Most of its lessons remain timeless even for the modern audience. Cat Stratford does not shrink herself for anyone or anything. Even if it affects her popularity, she'll always choose to stay true to herself. And it seems like Julia Stiles shares the same spirit. She continues to defy Hollywood's expectations and follows her own heart, focusing on her happiness. That's it for today. Thank you for watching Rumor Juice. If you're a 10 Things I Hate About You fan, then let us know which scene was your favorite. Subscribe to the channel. And of course, don't forget to tell your friends how cool we are. As always, we're very eager to see your opinion in the comments section below. And do tell us which topic we should cover next. Behind the scenes dramas of your favorite shows? Why did this seemingly perfect couple break up? How come this Hollywood hottie is still alone? Who holds the title of the most fan-friendly celebrity? Make your voice heard and we at Rumor Juice will make sure that you never get bored. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tell your friends how cool we are.